mean when you split up the whole camp into two teams? Yeah! And each team is a different color? Yeah! And you have different contests for a whole week until the team with the most points wins? Yeah! When are we gonna have an color war, John? When? <laughs> Never! We had a color war once, and it was one big pain in the neck. Let me tell you all about it. Ah, summertime. The fish were jumping, the birds were singing, and the mosquitoes were sucking my blood. Robin and Alex were out canoeing. We are best friends. We are best friends. We are best friends. We'll be friends all our lives. We are best friends. We are best friends. We are best friends. We'll be friends all our lives. <laughs> this is for you, Robin. I made it in arts and crafts. I want you to have it as a token of our friendship. Oh, thanks, Alex. This bracelet will never, ever leave my wrist. And I just happen to make a little something in arts and crafts, too. Thanks, Robin. This makes us friends forever. And ever. And then some. Yeah! All right! <laughs> Yes, friendship was breaking out all over at Camp Candy, which is a big improvement over last year when Poison Ivy was breaking out all over. <laughs> you get it with it? Now watch your young campers how to make all Czechoslovakian treat. Marshmallow goulash. Who wants to try? Hey, I had marshmallow goulash for breakfast. Want to go watch a video? Sure, I've got a new popcorn popper. Let's make a break for it. Hey, buddy, could you pass the popcorn? Sure thing, pal. While the kids were getting along so well, I had a meeting with our brand new counselor in training, Duncan. Good morning, Duncan. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Relax, Duncan. This is summer camp, not boot camp. <laughs> Any ideas for your first day on the job? <laughs> yes, sir, sir. Ow! Say, do you have a permit to carry that salute? Uh, what was your idea? A color war, uh, right, Counselor Candy? Color war? Uh, I don't know, Duncan. I'm not sure it's a good idea. But, sir, it says right here in the rule book, color wars are an important way to help campers develop a sense of competition. Competition, huh? Well, I'll try anything once, except for mud wrestling with a grizzly bear. <laughs> okay, Duncan, go to it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Oh, Nurse Molly! Duncan was meeting with the kids for the first time, and he was a little nervous. Kids, I want to introduce you to our new counselor in training, Duncan! Duncan, relax, <laughs> Duncan's just a tad enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Head Counselor Candy. Kids, today we begin that time-honored camp tradition known as Color War. Yeah, color war. Why, I remember when I was a little camper. Well, not too little. I'd say about, oh, four foot three or, or was it three foot four? Well, anyway, I think you're losing their attention. <laughs> <laughs> Try a little quicker this time. You separate into teams, you play a lot of games, and the team that wins the most games wins. Okay. Hey. Oh, you want to be teammates? You bet. As Rocky would say, yo, Vanessa, teammates. What does yo mean, anyway? Okay, little brother, stick with me, and I promise we won't overexert ourselves and catch colds. Okay, Iggy. Yeah! Line up, everybody, so I can choose the teams. Okay. Yellow team. Green team. Yellow team. Green team. Yellow team. Wait a minute. Robin and I are on different teams. No way! We gotta be on the same team, or we won't play. Same goes for me and Vanessa. That's right, Duncan. What kind of wimpy campers do you have here? Afraid a little healthy competition will get in the way of their friendships? My campers whips? No way. Listen, Duncan, the Camp Candy motto is, once a friend, always a friend. I thought our motto was, on a hike you can never have enough toilet paper. Hey, no silly color work if you and our beautiful friendship. You're right, Robin. And that goes for me and Vanessa, too. I'm with you, Rick. But these colors, they're the pits. It says here that the official tug of war mud hole must be exactly one foot deep by six feet wide. 
and filled with exactly eight gallons of water. <laughs> You've got exactly one gallon in the hole, exactly seven gallons in my face. Uh, sorry, Counselor Candy. <laughs> Good luck, Alex. Get set. Good luck, Robin. Okay, place your bets on the color wall. Place your bets. Here's two lily pads on the green team. Uh, green team? You got a tip or something? No, nah, my wife's green and I'm kind of sentimental. Okay, the team that drags the other team into the mud wins the tug of war. On your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Oh no! Alligators! I'm allergic to reptiles! <laughs> Iggy! You hapless hallucinator! This is all your fault! Hey, look on the bright side! You just got a free full body mud wrap! <laughs> I didn't mean to crack up, Alex! Still friends, right? Of course we are still friends! And you know what friends do? They share everything! <laughs> After the first contest in our color war, the yellow team was going nowhere, and my campers' friendships were going to pieces. Congratulations, green team, for winning the tug of war. That's the last time I get stuck with the short end of the rope. And now for our second activity, the spaghetti eating contest. Butch, do the honors. Exterminator! Yuck! Looks like mine's been slimed. I cooked this meal from old gypsy recipe. Guaranteed to make muscles strong, back straight. And stomachs turn. Lucky! Who says you can't teach a sleeping dog new tricks? Or a uh, new dog sleeping tricks? <laughs> or, or something like that. The first team member to clean his or her plate for his or her team wins. On your marks, get set, chow down! My condiments to the chef. Thank you, a slam dunk. We win! Chuck another one up for the green team! Congratulations, Robin. Here's your winner's trophy. <laughs> you deserve an award, too, friend. All right! Boo fight! Yeah! <laughs> Direct hit! Score one for the yellow team! Kids, settle down! This is just a game! A very messy game. your buddy. If winning is that important to you, you can take your stupid necklace back. Hmm. Did I say this would never leave my wrist? My mistake. This, this means war. war. Color War had been going on for three days, and Robin and Alex had gone from best friends to worst enemies. Sing along. 
Now pay attention, Duncan. A sing-along is one of a counselor's best ways to get kids to forget their little squabbles. <laughs> okay, John. We'll sing. We want the green tea dead. We want the green tea dead. And then when we're through defeating you, you'll wish you stayed in bed. Those who always work this well. We want the green tea dead. And when we're through defeating you, you'll wish you stayed in bed. We want the green tea dead. We want the green tea dead. I think thinking more along the lines of Mike, row your boat ashore. I figured if I couldn't stop their competitive spirit, maybe I could put it to good use. And now, everybody's favorite color war game, the Camp Candy Mess Hall Mop Off. <laughs> but, but are candy, there's nothing here in the rule book about a color war mop off. Duncan, that's because I'm using the top secret rule book. When you become a full-fledged counselor, you can use it too. On your marks, get set, mop! And I want to be able to see my reflection in that floor. Yay, green team! And now it's time for Dump the Garbage. The team with the biggest pile wins. Ready, set, dump! Well, that's all the garbage. I guess this one's a tie. <laughs> I know where we can get some garbage. Come on, green team. No more tie. We win. I guess you do. Boy, I could have sworn we were all out of garbage. Uh, okay, score another victory for the green team. Green team rule! Yeah. Excuse me, Counselor Candy, but isn't that your new uniform and the green team's garbage? My clothes, my bed, my autographed picture of Dan Quayle. Rule 257, paragraph 3, specifically states that a camp counselor's belongings and other garbage shall not be used in color war competition. Wait a minute! That's my garbage you're taking! Next was the cleanest cabin contest. Both teams were determined to win it, even if it meant playing dirty, and this time, really filthy, rotten, stinking dirty. Oh, Vanessa's a real clean freak. I'm afraid this gives the yellow team the edge needed to win this one. Not to worry, I've got a little plan. It was time for our Color Wars cleanest cabin contest. Vanessa was putting the finishing touches on her bunk. Little did she know that Robin and Rick were about to put some finishing touches on her. Excellent. I'm a shoe-in. Now to look as good as my bunk. Hey, Vanessa. Got some lipstick? You want lipstick? Well, I'm just trying to look as good as you do. Hmm. I don't know if I should give lipstick to the enemy. Please. Well, maybe one of my rejects. Let's see. What would be right for you? I know. Fresh strawberry, honey bronze... Something in a mint medley would be nice. Thanks. You are too kind. And you won't regret it. Ready for inspection! As always, and I didn't even break a nail. Whoa, who's been sleeping in your bed, swamp thing? Well, Vanessa, looks like you lost. On to the next bunk. But, but... Nice suit, partner. Tort nothing, ma'am. Why, that was sabotage, that rat, Rick. Well, two can play this game. Hello, Lakeside Landfill Company? Okay, Rick. Prepare for inspection of private personal sleeping quarters. May I? Nothing like a garbage truck for a woman's self-esteem. You're looking at a lean, mean, cleaning machine. Vanessa sabotaged me, that yellow Benedict Arnold. But Rick sabotaged me first, that green gunkhead. Whoa, will you... Hey, stop it! 
Now, let's face it. You sabotaged each other. And because of that, I'm putting both teams' scores back to zero. But that's not in the rule book, sir. I can and I will. And that means whoever wins the next and last event wins the color war and puts an end to this, 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 this disaster. But, sir, no buts. What is the last event? A boat race across Lake Cacciatore's mysterious Bermuda Shorts Triangle. This anchor ought to slow down the green team's boat and we'll ace this race. Geronimo! Let's get out of here! <laughs> As we know, control egg beating and guarantee chasing their tails in circles. <sighs> okay, give it a whirl. Me that. Oops, sorry, sir. <laughs> okay, campers, time for the final color war competition. The boat race across Bermuda Shorts Triangle, representing the green team, Robin, Rick, and Binky. Yay! Representing the yellow team, Alex, Vanessa, and Iggy. Yay! Just remember, campers, at Camp Candy, everybody's a winner as long as you play fair and square. The first boat to row across the triangle wins this attractive trophy. All right, Duncan, start the race. On your marks. Get set. <coughs> Just in case anything went wrong, I rented a copter to watch the race. Check it out. Okay. <gasps> Those guys tied an anchor to our boat. I should have known. I can't believe it. For the first time in my life, I'm actually going to win. I'm so excited. Iggy, you're breaking out in hives. At least they're happy hives. <laughs> We'll show those cheaters. I'll think of you. 
With the color war a dim, depressing memory, things at Camp Candy had returned to their usual peace, harmony, and tranquility. So, Duncan, now that peace has broken out at Camp Candy, what do you have in mind for next week? Well, Counselor Candy, it's all here in the handbook. Uh, what is it? A demolition derby. Demolition Derby? On your mark. Get set. Fire! Hey, what did I say?